Today we're speedrunning 60 seconds, a game about surviving the apocalypse. Now our speedrun starts as soon as we click on begin adventure and right away we're going to get a little loading screen. It's going to teach us how to be an Astro citizen. We don't really care about that because instead we're getting right into the game. Now our main character is a guy named Ted and we have a little bit to go around and see our house, see all the things we're going to need to bring with us until the 60 seconds starts. Now the main thing we want is our son Timmy. Timmy is amazing in this game for reasons I'll explain later. We'll also get a med kit before we go over to our bunker. We can only carry a limited amount of things over to our bunker at a time and obviously as the game's name implies we only have 60 seconds to do so. So I'm gonna go grab this axe and this gas mask but we're going to miss our daughter Mary Jane. We honestly don't care about her or our wife Dolores. That sounds kind of awful but they're just not as useful as Timmy and the more people we have in the bunker the more we have to worry about feeding which just seems like way too much work. So instead I'm gonna go for a bunch of soup and a bunch of water as well. I'll take that guy and go over to the bathroom to get some more water and yeah we're really just trying to find the last bit of stuff before the timer runs out if we do run out of time we do die and then we just have to restart this section so we don't really want that to happen i'll go over grab the radio that is sometimes useful but what i'm really worried about right now is just getting food and water because it is extremely useful and we are about at that time where we are running out i could very easily get my daughter or my wife right now but we're gonna ignore them because we would rather jump into the bunker all that matters is me and my son timmy well i might be a terrible person anyways for anyone who hasn't played this game before basically what happens is we get a little notebook which explains what happened throughout the day we can use this notebook to give our family food and water as well as do different actions like go out into the wasteland to try to find more resources help people out who are coming and knocking on our doors and doing things like that and there are a bunch of different endings that you can get to actually escape the bunker and that's how you beat the game but we're going to be going for multiple different endings at the same time to have the greatest success of going fast so i'll explain each of them as we get to them but for days one and two nothing ever really happens on those days so i just skip ahead and for day three we're actually going to read at least a tiny bit because there are some important things that can happen like an expedition then we also see there's a weird signal with the radio frequencies so since we have the radio we can actually listen to that Oh, and that's also important. Based on what things you took to the bunker, you can do different missions. Because we have the radio station, we can listen to radio frequencies, and that's important for endings like the military ending, which we'll get to later. But now it's time to send out Timmy with the gas mask, because that's why we brought him with us. Timmy has the greatest chance of survival in the wastelands, and that goes up even more if he has the gas mask, so he's going to be our main guy to go and try to get us more resources. It's also nice since when someone's gone, we don't have to give them food and water, and to keep our people alive, we need to get them water every five days and food every seven days and also to make sure that timmy doesn't actually leave the bunker and abandon us he needs food a little bit more but we're not too worried about that if he leaves he leaves but i have to be very careful of how i ration my food and water because to get the ending we really want we need at least four food or water so we can give them to somebody to rescue us but again i'll explain it when we get to it now for day eight nothing much really happens here we just kind of have ted sitting here probably pretty sad that we didn't bring the rest of his family members and also he's sending out his son to do all his dirty work but there is going to be a note on the door with a small suitcase that's saying hey you should open me which ends up being a mistake because ted gets sick luckily timmy came back he kept the gas mask safe and also brought us two waters and a med kit so we can heal ted up immediately and also do another good thing with the radio as we finally get to talk to the government everything so far has been kind of par for the course nothing important has happened just yet until day 10 this is where the run really starts getting insane because finally after day 10 well first of all we might as well feed timmy he's probably starving but after that we see that there is another thing in front of our door and we're going to open it up which gives us the cat sherikov now this is an extremely early time to get sherikov and he's probably the one that gives you the best endings because you can either get the vip ending or the mad scientist ending through him and that's also the reason we want the four food or four water but again i'll get more into to that later all you really have to know right now is this is incredibly good luck and i've never had a better run at this point then to make things even better we found a pirate cave under our house and we were able to get a map out of that so that was pretty cool finally after that though i'm gonna send out ted you know have him go brace the wilderness which doesn't really help us with too much except we did get a can of bug spray so i mean i guess that's okay just to keep us safe and try to keep us from getting sick too often now my general strategy for this run is pretty much any time an event happens i'm going to to do it sometimes these events can be really bad and we can get sick or injured or even die but most of the time it is going to result in good stuff 
at least hopefully and you know you just got to do what you got to do also when there's things like a green puddle i will try to get rid of those because again we do not want our guys to get sick especially because we no longer have a med kit i don't know how easy it is to die from sickness but better safe than sorry finally on day 15 though we get our next sherikov mission where basically we see an address on his collar so we go and take him to it now unfortunately this does mean that sherikov is going to leave us for a while but it is necessary to continue doing stuff with him so we'll take it and we're just going to keep living on while we wait for him to come back it is sad because now it's just me and my son and we don't really look like we have too much to talk about at least we could probably play with the cat when he was here but while sherikov is going and enjoying his life we also get an army broadcast which tells us we need to go to a certain point on the map that way they can see if we're still alive and since we got the map a little earlier that means we can actually do that so yeah that was actually really good luck that we got the map and finally sherikov is back yeah our kitty just can't resist hanging out with us i mean we're such friendly people look at our faces and on day 19 it's a pretty boring day not too much to report except for a group of old ladies who come and try to murder us i'm pretty sure one of them even has a spiked leg so i was kind of confused on what was happening i decided to take out the map and you hear in the distance a gunshot so i don't know where that came from but i mean we're still safe so I guess they're dead. It did make us lose our axe, but it's worth it. And on day 20, I made what I would probably say is the best mistake of the run. You see that I clicked this check mark right there, and that's going to start the VIP ending, but I didn't really know that at the time. See, the last time I really watched this game was when I was watching the YouTube channel Jay from the Cub Scouts. And even though I did put in around three hours of just trying to do runs, I still didn't know every single scenario that could happen. So I didn't even remember that there was a VIP ending for this game. But because on day 20, I am investigated that thing that Sherikov was looking at we started it and now the game is gonna go really fast from here well as fast as you can from like a point and click game <laughs> basically as far as the story goes though we saw some secret agents spying on us the next day they came and knocked on our door and they told us that they could help us out and get us to the VIP bunker so obviously that's gonna be our goal and that will be the fastest way to beat this game at least I'm pretty sure but the funny thing is I didn't realize I still thought I was going for the mad scientist ending because again I didn't really know about the vip ending at this time and because for the speed run you can't really read anything this entire time i'm gonna be thinking i was doing the mad scientist ending meanwhile i'm doing the vip so it's kind of funny <laughs> but timmy is back out exploring the wilderness meanwhile ted somehow got himself sick i had no idea how that happened but finally on day 26 he's actually gonna come back and again he brings us a med kit which we immediately use on ted kind of hilariously <laughs> he also brought us two food so that's also really nice yeah timmy is kind of the goat that's why we brought him with us instead of saving literally the rest of our family we're also going to send him out again on day 26 to go and do the twins ending well not do the twins ending but more so start it this is another ending you can do where you help out the twins and you work with them but we're not going to be too worried about it because the vip bunker is much more important and on day 27 the agents are going to come back and give us a secret mission to land us in the vip bunker so we're sending out Timmy again. Hopefully he comes back. Look, I promise I'm a good dad. Don't worry about it. I mean, I am sending Ted to do some stuff too. Like there's a smell somewhere in the bunker. We got to deal with it. But that was actually the wrong thing to do because then our radio breaks because a small creature came out and attacked us. So maybe not the best thing in the world to do, but that's fine. You know, we're still doing well enough and we just have to hope that Timmy can carry us. And he does come back on day 30, also very injured. Maybe we should have kept a med kit for him, but I mean, we needed to use them on Ted. He's just more boards and not gonna lie to me sorry other than that day 30 is pretty boring we're just making it through at least this means the vip ending is still going though and day 31 also doesn't have very much to report on except that ted has a really nice beard now so we're pretty proud of him i will also give food to ted and timmy just to make sure they don't get too upset we'll use the rat poison on our trash can to make sure nothing destroys more of our equipment and that will get rid of our rat poison but i mean we might as well use it especially because we're really close to the end of the speed run one thing also to mention is when I was doing this speed run I didn't actually have the timer on so I had no idea how far into the speed run I was how much time I had taken and I didn't know that this was probably going to be a world record so it was very much a surprise to me when it happened I thought I was much more than nine minutes in and it was a very happy surprise that this went so well especially when you see how much time we beat the old record by also if you do want to see some more speed runs and maybe some more world records subscribe to the channel I'd appreciate it also go follow my twitch did didn't do this speed run on there but I do a lot of them live but yeah that was kind of just stalling since there wasn't too much that was happening but finally on day 35 we get the trade where we give four of our soup 
over to the secret agents so we can join the VIP bunker. Finally, all of our rationing of our food came in clutch, and now we can be a little bit more liberal with how we use it since we're about to get out of here even sooner than I originally thought. We do get the siblings again on day 36, but to be completely honest, I don't care too much about them. We might as well give them some help, use our axe, because I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Well, probably our deaths or something, so maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I was feeling really good. I knew that we were coming up to the end of the speed run. I was just waiting for it to happen at this point. Now, the funny thing was, I still thought we were doing the mad scientist ending. So when I gave away my food, I thought we were giving it to him, not the secret agents, because I wasn't really reading. You don't have time to read in the speed run. And it was such a surprise to me when what happened did. So yeah, just kind of a funny story. Anyways, to give you a little comparison on how lucky this speed run was, the old world record ended on day 49. Now this speed run is going to end on day 41. That is absolutely insane and why we save so much time over the old world record. You'll see that on day 40, there is going to be this little thing with a bunch of knocks and of course we're gonna open it. I didn't really know what it was at this point, but we see the end and we also see the secret agents, which I was not expecting, but hey, I'll take it. Now I did kind of make a mistake and not click the notebook. That's technically when the speed run ends. So I lost a couple of seconds, but I'm still gonna take this speed run. It went amazingly. And finally at the end, you'll see that we survived maybe yeah our fate is kind of uncertain which like i said before that's a world record i was excited for this one all right subscribe if you enjoyed bye